Okay, I'm just going to make a quick video uh, about this uh, Zellman enclosure. If you're installing Windows 10, all these previews that are coming out, um, instead of burning a ISO to a USB stick, you can actually, and I'm not going to go through the process showing how to do it, it's really simple. You plug this in, you turn it to hard drive mode, and it mounts, mounts into, your, into your computer. You can actually switch a right protection switch up here. So you can either lock it from writing or whatever. So you just unlock it. There's an underscore ISO folder on this drive. You simply take your Windows 10 uh, ISO image and just put it in that folder. And that's it. You put it back to CD-ROM mode or hard drive slash CD-ROM mode. Select the Windows ISO or whatever ISO you want to boot. And you can actually boot from it. I'm going to show you how to do it and how it works on my uh, HP Stream 8. Because uh, I just made a brand new ISO of the new... Uh, Windows technical preview to see if it fixes my issues to do a clean install. So I'll show you how I'm going to install it via this little enclosure. Let's take a look. Okay, so here's my mess of wires just to get any form of USB into this thing. I purchased this brand new USB 3.0 hub. I think it's a uh, OT something converter. It's great. Um, I purchased this one first from Amazon and what a piece of crap. This thing literally had speeds below USB 1.1. Mouse and keyboard perfect for anything else. It's excruciating. It took me 40 minutes to install the copying process of the uh, first preview I installed on this thing. So horrible. This thing's amazing. So what I'm going to do now is turn it on and we're going to go ahead and select Windows 10 from this uh, USB enclosure. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to go ahead and turn it on here. Now we're just going to pound the F8 key, or, or F9, or actually escape. There we go. And now on here, I don't know if you can see it, we're going to try to focus it in. Come on, you piece of crap. Okay, here we go. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Okay, we're going to go through and select Windows 10, and we're going to just press it. It's now mounted as a virtual CD-ROM drive. So now, I don't want to bend this thing. Okay, and we're going to refocus it. There we go. And we're going to press F9. Okay, I'm back. I actually had to um, restart it for the BIOS to actually pick up the virtual CD-ROM after I selected the ISO. But anyway, uh, there is, I don't know if you can see it or not, up on top it says USB CD-ROM EFI, whatever. So we're going to go ahead and press enter. Press any key. And now this thing right now is booting the Windows 10 ISO off this thing. It's uh, super, super handy for if you're doing lots of builds of different operating systems and whatever. Um, just, yeah, just drop the entire ISO on the hard drive and boot from it. Anyway, just letting you know, this is the Zelman VE, uh, it's the USB 2.0 version. Uh, there is a USB 3.0, but, oh, it also has um, eSATA too. So, I guess if you want to see the copying speed here, Hold on, I just want to get through this really quick. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause it and come back. Okay, it's now starting to copy the files, and I should note that I have about four of these. One in my car and like three more in the office. Each one I put a 64 gigabyte um, solid state drive inside. Cheap ADAT ones, they were like, I don't know, what, 50 some bucks or something. Yeah, I'm constrained by the uh, USB 2.0 speed, but I don't know, I like it where I can shake these things, you know, drop it and I'm not going to hurt you know whatever I'm doing so if we look right here it's now copying the data off the and I don't know if you can see it or not I would better not make sure that comes unplugged that might not be very good I'm going to zoom all the way in here I really don't know if you can see that or not but uh hey we're at zero percent hey we're now we're one percent but yeah, this process right here took me, f oh god, it was almost an hour off 
Um, this lousy piece of crap. Horrible. Absolutely horrible. I knew it was slow, but I read a review on Amazon where some guy literally benchmarked it, and it was actually below USB 1.1. I think 1.1 gave you 12 or whatever, and this thing gave you like 5. So, it was pretty bad. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and if you're interested, I'll show you whether or not this thing fixed my issue or not with my uh, with the new build completely hosing my tablet, upgrading it from the last build. So, let's see if clean install works. Thanks. Okay, so the reinstall is complete and Windows uh, 10 is working just perfectly. So it must have been part of the update that was uh, not working properly. So the reinstall fresh off the ISO I made of the newest build seems to work just fine. Thanks.